All right, so today we're gonna be making a screw. Uh, oh no, a thread. Screw, shaft actually. Shaft, uh, sure, okay. And we're gonna do it according to how that shock assembly thing looks. So the very first thing we need to do, we need to make a sketch. Press okay. We need to make a circle. In this case, it's asking that the, the cylinder at the top is 0.75, and that's what we're gonna do. Uh, we need to extrude this boy. Uh, it says height of shaft determined by user. I'm gonna do a crisp two, okay. So we got a cylinder. We need to make another sketch. I'm gonna do this just, oops. All right, we're gonna do another sketch. It doesn't matter, just make your thing consistent. Uh, it doesn't matter which plane you're using, just make it consistent, okay? So then, let me move this down. Uh, let me move this down also. Alright. So, now we make another cylinder. By that I mean circle. So this is going to be 0.625. Um, you can't see my mouse, but... This 0.625 means the major diameter of the thread that we're going to be making. So by doing, by making this 0.625, we're making this the major diameter. So we need to extrude this also. This one says 1.0. So that's how much we're gonna extrude that by. So one. Um, make sure it goes outside. So if it was if it was going inside the first cylinder, you want to do a negative one, but you want to make this go outside. So I'm just gonna keep that. So it's a one. Okay. Ex please excuse the background noise. So what the hell does point six two five eleven unk mean? This is what the calculation we're gonna be doing right now. Uh, let me pause for a sec. All right, so there's two things that you want to be doing. Um, there's this equation that you model your pitches off of and everything like that. But I have this really handy dandy Excel sheet, so I don't have to do that. I'll be linking that in the description, but if you don't have the Excel sheet, you have to use this equation. I don't know what the hell this equation means, so I'm going to be um, using it like this. So it says UNC11, right? Uh, 11 unk that means we go to the 11 part and then our pitch is the 0 0.0909 because we're doing inches that makes no sense at all but just just trust me on this so when we geez everyone's everyone likes to yell today all right so what we do with this excel sheet is we get our d major which was the 0.625 the pitch was described as the 11 part, right? So that means the pitch that I'm using is the inch right next to it. So that's the 0 .0909. And then when I do that, it, it makes the equation, uh, it calculates that and it multiplies by B2 uh, and it gives me this. So this is what I want to use for my D minor when I use a thread. So I'm gonna search up for a thread right here. All right, so I want to be on the detailed menu. It, it defaults to symbolic, but you want to use detailed. So minor diameter, you want to control, oh, I guess double click that and I'm going to paste that. Length for for some reason is 0 .009. Um, I'll keep it like that just because. Um, just because. And then notice that the pitch was already defined. Feature dialog. The pitch was already the 0 0.09090909, so I can leave it how it is. The last thing we want to do is the chamfer. The chamfer is the, if you look on this, it's the 0.125 times 0.125. So in doing so, bang, 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 type in chamfer. Um, it's easier to find everything, but you know, I'm not, I'm not that great, so. So let's click chamfer. Okay. All right. Let me try to find this. Okay, 
So I was fine. I, it was there the whole time. So I pressed chamfer. I was clicking this for some reason. Um, I was clicking the line, but you want to click the feature, the feature one. So you click the chamfer, and this is pretty freaking annoying. So you want to click edge of extrude. You don't want to click edge of threads. If you if you look really closely, it says edge of threads, and that's what you don't want to click. You want to click the edge of the extrude. But right now it's symmetric. We want this to be asymmetric. And if you look at if you look at the bottom right of your screen, the thing is 0.125 times 0.125. So we have to do 0.125 and then 0.125. That's just because that's what it's asking for. When we do that, we get a screw like this. Um, I'll link the Excel thread in, I guess, either the description or I will... Oh, I'm going to put it in whatever Discord I'm in for, for that. So, yep. I'm proud of you all. You guys have a great day. This is the shaft. Alright, you guys have a... Okay, I'm going to shut up.